Oh uh, yeah, hey, how's it going everybody? It's yours truly, the Trigger Tree here. Today we'll be playing some more of that Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. So sit back, relax, enjoy the show. Let's do this. This is chapter two, A New Journey Begins. I believe we are in the inn at Calm. Uh, let's get to it. Okay, I guess you open this door. All right, cutscene. What's this? A gift from our humble establishment. Though it may not look like much, it should help you to break the ice with those you meet. Hmm. Queen's blood? Queen's Blood Starter Deck. Uh, I'm a fast reader. Okay, we got a Queen's Deck. Learn to play Queen's Blood. Yeah, might as well. Okay, so, a little card game, alright. Draw Blood. Your turn. Okay, each player takes turn placing a card on a board in one of the three lanes that span from left to right. First, try placing a card on one of the highlighted tiles adorned with an emerald pawn. Okay. I guess we take this one. And place it here. On this turn. Once a card is placed, its power is added to your lane total. New positions will also be added to the board, which are tiles with emerald pawns upon which you can place cards. The yellow number in the top right corner of a card is its power, while the positions a card will add to the board are indicated by the yellow squares and the graphic at the bottom. I'm gonna be honest with you, I don't even know what the fuck that meant, but uh, let's figure it out. Uh, oh, it's opponent's turn, okay. Your turn. Next, place a card so that one of its yellow tiles overlaps with one of your existing positions, okay. Uh, well, let's, I guess we'll go with this one since it's telling me to select it, and clap. Uh, I'm just gonna put it here. I mean, if we were playing Yu-Gi-Oh or something, I would know what I'm doing. One of your card's position tiles overlaps with the position you control, the position rises in rank. As there are two pawns on the tile now, that position is rank 2. Cards can only be placed on positions equal to or higher than their rank, which is denoted by the number of pawns in the top left corner of the card. Thus, in order to play more powerful cards, you have to raise the rank of your positions. Okay. Uh, so I guess when it's my turn, I'll go with a rank 3. As you now have a rank 2 position, try placing your rank 2 card on it. Okay, well... I was gonna go with that rank 3, but it's a place a rank two okay it's not letting me so i guess i'm going with a three does it matter where i place the cards or not uh it was telling me to put it right there when one of your cards positions overlaps with one of your opponents you claim that position as yours no note however that claiming a position will not raise his rank okay Yeah, I'm not reading all that. Fuck that. Uh, Grassland's Wolf. Let's see if that'll work. Let me put him down here. Let's see what the opponent's doing. Your turn. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna go with Lev. How do you pronounce that? Levercon. Your turn? Okay, it's... This is yellow. Let's try this. Magic plot. Okay. Well, let me select that. So let's go with security officer. I still don't know the objective of this game. I probably should have read that last part I skipped. Uh, let's go up here.
How are we able to place one on my side? Uh, this has got three on it. It's not letting me select it. It's not letting me select that one either. Let's go with Crystalline Crab. Uh, okay. Why is this glowing? This card has no abilities. It's not letting me go, so I guess pass and match. Once the game is over, each player's score is tabulated. Okay, whatever. So who won? Oh, I guess I did. I didn't even know what the hell I was doing. That concludes the Queen's Blood tutorial. Okay, enough of the car games. I want to do some action. Came here to play Final Fantasy, not Yu-Gi-Oh. Okay. There's usually stuff you can uh, find, so let's do some exploring in here. Uh, I'm not really seeing nothing. Let's get out of here. Do do do. Okay, there's a door here. And there's a chest. Hmm, just walk into somebody's room and steal their shit. Okay, let's see what's in here. A bottle of ether. Okay. That's the door I came out of, right? So, what's this? Yeah, it doesn't like there's anything out here. Don't like there's anything in here. Nope. Okay, let's get out of these people's room. This is open. Let's see what's out here. Okay, let's go to the roof. Wait, was that a chest? Oh, there's some flowers. Okay. Is there anything up here for me? Does not look like it. Okay, we're going down. Back into the hotel. Uh, Where's the stairs? Okay, I ran past them. Here we go. Of course. This is only the most recent in a series of crises. Multiple reactor bombings, followed by the fall of the Sector 7. Good morning, sir. I must apologize for not introducing myself to you earlier. I'm Broden, the owner of this inn. Your companions have all stepped out. Oh, but Barrett left a message he wanted me to pass along to you. Did he? You missed roll call, soldier boy. Luckily, you're on leave for today. Don't waste it, though. Get your equipment checked ASAP. Sound advice? Adjust your party's gear by access to material and equipment from the main menu. Perhaps okay. a trip to the arms dealer is in order? Good idea. By the way, Cloud, do you have any folios on you? Yeah. In that case, you might also want to pay a visit to Magnata Books. They have Magnata stores books. all over, but the first official one was built here in Calm. And their resident scholars are remarkably talented. If you want to unlock the true potential of your folios, you should go see them. The first okay. customization is always free. Sounds like a plan. Is there anybody else I can talk to in here before I head out? I need to keep this place looking spick and span. Don't want to let Broden down. Okay. After he insisted Let's head on the outside. What's this? I'm thinking that's a collectible, my dumbass. Okay, let's go out and see some air. Finally. Hmm. Rough Red 13. You've been waiting for me? I've been waiting for a chance to thank you properly. Without your help, I'd still be in Hojo's clutches, trapped in that lab. It was nothing. Even so, I owe you a debt, until it's paid. I'm going to accompany you. Nice. Red 13, join the party. Okay. Getting your equipment checked, have them check mine while you're at it. Sure thing. Hmm. The 
Little Rick's got a backbone. Overcoming challenges, helping people in need, and exploring the world will deepen your party's bonds, thereby increasing your party level. The higher this level, the more skills and abilities will be available in your folios. Okay. So it looks like I got quite some places to go on the uh, the map, so let's see what we got. This is... Okay, blue is... I mean, turquoise is, I guess, main objectives. Yep, arms dealer and the book lady. Destination. This must, these must be the side quests. Nini and Ned. Okay, it's like Ned is right around the corner. Let's see what he wants. Oh, he's up there. Don't tell me he's one of them car players. Blood, do you? I was hoping that. Oh, what am I thinking? You look like you'd murder me. Oh God, this is too much. I think I'm gonna throw up. <laughs> Give me that look. It's this dude's definitely weird. For adults to cry too, you know. <laughs> oh, people call me crybaby dad because the more tears I shed, the better I get at Queen's blood. <laughs> Please play around with me. Dude, it's just a freaking car game. Uh, I guess we can play a quick car game. Okay. I guess I'm going with this deck. Begin match. Kind of reminds me of playing Sad back on uh, Knights of the Old Republic. That was I was a beast in. Select the cards you wish to mulligan. Let's just play the damn game. Okay, let me get a security officer. There we go. What am I going with? Let's get a moo. There we go. I think I'm solo getting angry in this game. So I have a one, I got lever icon. There we go. Okay. There we go. Let's get another Levercon. Put him there. What oh, about I can't use that three? Let's put him on the Queen's Blood. Okay, let's put magic. Okay, I still can't use magic pot. Uh, let's go with uh, Ella, Ella, uh, Alpha Dunk. Okay, it's not letting me do that. How about J Unit Sweeper? Nope. Looks like I can't use anything, so I guess pass and match. I won. New card obtained. What did I get? Crystalline crab. Okay. Oh God! I love it. But uh, I feel a lot better after having a good cry. There's nothing like a game of Queen's Blood to relieve some stress. Bro. Speaking of, you, you hello weird. Look like you've got a lot weighing you down too. It's written all over your face. Trust me, crying does wonders. You really ought to try it. Yeah, that was just awkward. Okay, who's the next one? Nini. Okay, I guess... Where's my position? Okay, I guess Nini's to the right. Okay. I guess she's up here. Introduce you to Nene, 
master ventriloquist. Now she ain't much of a talker, but give her a deck of cards and she'll wipe the floor with you so fast, it'll make your head spin. Ready to get your ass handed to you? Well, are ya? That is very unacceptable language, young man or girl, whatever the hell you are. It says defeat three players, but I only ha see two on the radar. Uh, let's just begin the match. Start the match. Okie dokie. Queen's blood. Let's just play. Let's go with a one pawn. Let's go with security officer. There we go. My turn. Okay, I guess I go with a two. Let's try Moo. Thing reminds me of Muck from Pokemon. Okay, another two. How about a J Unit Sweeper? Okay, how about we'll do Moo again? Uh, let's go with J unit. Oh, it won't let me do J unit. Okay, uh, let's put you on the Queen's Blood. I need to get my scores up. I can see that I'm losing. Okay, we're both at 10. Uh, J unit sweeper. What can I select? Nothing? Okay, I guess end match. Oh yeah, victory. I guess I won. New card to team. Cactuar. Cactuar. Raise the power of ally cards on affected tiles by three while this card is in play. Okay. Phew, this guy packs one hell of a punch. But hey, you can't win them all. Besides, what really matters is you were brave enough to take on a bona fide card shark like Pretty Boy here. Sometimes you gotta take the L if you're serious about up in your game. Listen, kid, you got what it takes. I know fucking shit. kid, motherfucker. I bet my bottom gill on it. Now why don't you show Blotty your appreciation for being such a good sport? Thank you for playing cards with me, mister. Okay, it says... Let's check. Okay, so we're gonna go to the right. Okay. Let's check out the book lady first. I guess we... Across this bridge. Oh, I think I'm mowing the wrong direction. Uh huh. Finally decided. Oh, it's Arif. Yeah. So what you been doing? Why, waiting for you, of course. You have? Got business with the bookstore? If so, I won't keep you. But if you're free afterwards, wanna climb the clock tower together? I'm gonna say sure, let's. Sure, let's. For real? Awesome! Since it was my idea, I'll go get the tickets. I'll meet you in front of the tower, okay? Files' actions affect his relationships with his allies, and the strength of these bonds can alter po portions of the story. First L1 to view a, com a comrade's feelings toward Cloud, as indicated by symbols such as smiley face and. I'm gonna say bust a nut face, whatever that blue thing is. I'll catch up with you later, alright? Oh, yeah, you do that. I'm trying to find the book. Okay, here she is. Or is this the arm? Okay, this is the books, please. Hey there! Welcome to Magnata Books. Oh, I take it this is your first visit to one of our stores. Well, customization can seem tricky to the uninitiated. 
It takes time and experience to get it right. But I think you'll pick it up quick enough. Let's give it a try. Spend skill points at Magnata Books locations and Automats to augment your party's folios, thus unlocking powers, Latin, and your abilities, or allies, sorry. Uh, begin tutorial, yeah. Select Cloud's folio. The orange skill cores can be unlocked by spending skill points. Move the cursor over a skill core to see what it does. For now, move to the skill core on the upper left. This displays the ability granted in SP cost. Now unlock the skill core. Hold X. There we go. Yeah, I've mastered a new synergy ability. Nice. As you unlock skill cores, adjacent cores become available in turn. You are free to choose which skill cores to unlock and when adapting a character's strengths to suit your playstyle. All right. Finish and tutorial. That's about all we can do for now. But we haven't even skimmed the surface, believe you me. There's much more to this than meets the eye. It may not seem like it yet, but you'll see. Okay, let's go to... Looks like there's the final card players around here somewhere. Damn. You know, I thought Colin yeah, let's knock out this side quest real quick. Wall. Excuse me. That was my barricade you just destroyed. Fuck oh. your barricade. Come to admire the Bailey? It is something. Or maybe you're here to get your ass handed to you in a QB match. <laughs> I'm Zahira. A pleasure. Just like Calm's wall, I yield to no one. Refusing to give a single inch to my opponent. I got plenty of inches Don't for you. <laughs> unscathed if you decide to go up against me. Because you will wind up with more than just a few bruises. Threatening you the good time? Challenge to a match. Okay, I got my dick. Let's begin the match. Uh, select the cards you wish to mold again. None. Let's just play. I think I'm starting to get the hang of this game now. How are we going to start off? Uh... Let's get our J unit sweep. Oh, uh, oh, he's too powerful. Security officer, then. I'm gonna go down here. Do do. Just looking. Let's go with a J unit sweeper. There we go. I'm gonna use another J unit sweeper. How does I go up here? No, I'm gonna go here. Grasslands Wolf. Yeah, let's put one here so I can invade his side. Okay. I can't quite use that one yet. There we go. I'm just looking at the score. They're higher than me. It's a complicated game. It's kind of hard to explain, but I think I figured it out. It's just about winning. Okay, I can throw down a two. There we go. My turn. There we go. Pass. I guess that ends the match. Yep, smoked your ass, bitch. I'm not gonna lie, this was like my 50th attempt. <laughs> Had to edit all that out of the video. Impossible. How could someone break through my perfect Queen's defense? Blood side quest Who completed. Yeah, I got a nice little trophy. 
couldn't stay holed up in here forever. Walls can keep people safe, but even the sturdiest ones eventually crumble. Right. Starting today, you will be my new wall, as it were. And I am going to enjoy watching you crumble. That just sounded hella suspect. Okay, we got one more. We got to go to the arms dealer, I believe. Let's speed this up. This game's definitely an improvement in a remake, but uh, we're still early in the game, so I'm not going to uh, praise it or criticize it yet. I know there's a uh, improvement when combat. Let's talk to him real quick. That is quite the weapon you got there, Mister. Seen plenty of action by the look of it, but saying that it's still only a shadow of what it could be. With a little love, that baby'll sing. If you like, I could show you. Adjust your weapon skills via upgrade weapons in the main menu. Raising your character's weapon levels will unlock more of these skills, as well as stat boosts, allowing you to customize your party to suit your playstyle. Changing a character's weapon will not reset this level. Okay. Start tutorial. From the upgrade weapon screen, you can enhance a weapon to see its stats. So, all right. Here you can see your party's current equipment, their weapon levels, and the amount of skill points needed to reach the next level. Select Cloud's Buster Sword. A weapon's attributes and acquired skills are displayed here. Now try equipping a, equipping a weapon skill. Sorry about that. Press triangle. Nodes in which you can equip skills are displayed here. Here you'll find a list of available skills. Select weapon ability damage 5% to equip it. Okay. I think I got the hang of it. That's why I stopped the reading. Finish tutorial. There we go. See? What I tell you? That girl is singing, and she's got the voice of an angel. Just make sure you take proper care of her, alright? Oh, and while you're here, check out what we got to offer. No, I guess I can do that. Let me see what y'all have. Okay, I only got 2,000 gil, so... I don't think I'm going to be buying any weapons. Can I get anything else? Sleek Saber, that's only 3,000 armor. Accessories. How about Sill? Do I have anything I can sell? Nah, I don't. Okay. You take care of that weapon now. Each weapon comes with a distinct ability which can be used when the weapon is equipped. Using this ability repeatedly or meeting its proficiency bonus conditions will increase your proficiency. Max out of this proficiency to use said ability even when you do not have its corresponding weapon equipped. Checking the ability's proficiency bonus via materia and equipment in the main menu. Alright. Go to the clock tower when you are ready. Okay. Let's go to the clock tower to meet this chick. There she is. Cloud, over here. The old clock tower. Let's get started then, shall we? Hey, she's just gonna snatch me. Main scenario view from the top, okay. I feel like two high school kids going up to the secret meeting spot. <laughs> okay, we are at the top of the clock tower. I think Midgar's this away. Should be, yeah. That'd be it. Funny, isn't it? How small it looks. It is far away. So, did something happen between you and Tifa? Yeah, that's too many questions. Don't look so shocked. <laughs> We're roommates, you know. Ah, that's stretch. She say something? Not about you two, no. <clears throat> Still, I can tell. I would have given anything to have a friend when I was growing up. Don't take her for granted. Uh oh. Shinra!
just Looks like they want that smooth. Thing. Gotta be. Okay. Main scenario, fugitives. I guess I follow Aerith. Oh, they got some cool looking ships. We need to get back to the end. But... Don't worry about your friends. They're safe. Trust me. Well, we get back to the end and shit was everywhere. Please. This town suffered enough. Well, where's the fun in that? Come on. Follow me. Okay, I guess I follow. Why is she highlighted? Oh, she's not. Follow him. I'm a following. Not here. Well, we know uh -oh. here. Hey, you. I guess we're not going that way. Okay, let's get on out of here. I heard about the reactor bombings in Midgar. That was you, wasn't it? What do you think? It's okay. Plus, well, you asked too many you. questions. Got a contact at HQ. Oh, nice! He's an ally. Stop. Uh oh. I'll keep the troopers occupied. While we're talking, you two go up and over. Up and over, gotcha. I guess I go up here, yeah. Okay, I'm going up. Guess I got a little bit of stealth action like Metal Gear Solid. Okay, let's just slowly sneak past. Get out of here! Wait, wait. I know I saw some people who had a huge air about them. Almost there. Remember the faces. Annoy someone else. Stop wasting our time. Doo doo, and I should be good to go here. Why am I still crouching? Okay, I guess. Oh, well, there's something highlighted down there. Okay, it's him again. Never mind. They turn up yet? No, but we're still searching buildings. We'll search harder. We gotta find them. Yeah, search harder. You're gonna find me. <laughs> okay, I guess. Bro, you giving my position away. Yes, we slide down this pole like a stripper. That went well. The end's not much further. But stay on your toes. Okay, I'm following you, homeboy. This the end? I think I'm gonna check this place next. Farm out there. He'd be happy to help you. 
Also, take this. The fuck is it? It's a transmuter. Transmuter it converts raw materials into more practical items. A Republic antique, but it still works. Okay, that guy should. You'll get more use out of it than me. Okay. Got some pretty cool items. Why are you doing this? Could have just turned us in. Yeah, I could have. But this town and I have a history with Shinra. Who knows? Maybe this will turn out to be the worst decision I've ever made. So before I change my mind, you'd better get going. Okay, let's go down into the basement. Okay, from the item transmuter screen in the main menu, you can convert raw materials into practical items such as consumables, equipment, accessories, and more. To expand your transmission options, collect transmuter chips found throughout the world or improve your craftsmanship. Okay. I can transmute antidote, potion, and... Well, let's hit the tutorial. Begin tutorial. Open the item transmuter menu. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, I'm just gonna skip through this. Hold X. Okay, transmutation complete. All right. Finish tutorial. Okay, let's go. Air raid shelter. Any ch treasure chests down here? Open the door? No. Okay, there's Barrett and Tifa and Red 13. She got some big old titties, I know that. <laughs> Where the hell have you two been? On a date, kind of. None of your business. Uh. Well, that was the last one. At least till things calm down. <laughs> got that? Uh, oh. Now, let's move. Okay, I guess you're the one giving orders, Sergeant. I'm looking for any goodies. Anything back here? Nope. Okay. Definitely some new Where elements brought into this game. Like the stealth the action we just did. This way. Looks like a job for me. Let me get that behind you. Let's see what we got in here. Three sprigs of laurel. Yeah, better than nothing. Okay, let's get through here. Look for some more chests. I'm not seeing anything. Do do do. Okay, I guess I open this door. Oh, I hold it. Okay. We are out in the free world. the original Final Fantasy 7. So this is like the open world part. Still technically this one. I still have a lot to learn. What do you want to know? Hmm. 
For starters, how do we cross these plains? Come on now, that's easy. The same way you get anywhere. Pick a direction and start walking. Left, you there. Is that the idea? Left, right. Hopefully they will spot us. I guess we won't be coming back anytime soon. Guess not. Let's go. <laughs> and there it was. She's really excited. First step on our new journey. You coming? Yeah. Of course we are. Everybody excited to head out. Choosing your party. Adjust your battle party from the combat settings screen in the main menu. You can create up to three present parties to swap between. While exploring the world, open the commands menu and press L1 or R1 to switch parties. Setting a destination. Press home to open the map and get your bearings while sword markers, whatever that is, exclamation mark box, I'm gonna call it. And discovery markers, uh, I'm gonna call it target, will automatically added to the map. You can place your own pin by pressing R3. For now, head to the farm Broden spoke of as marked by the star. Okay. So I got some party members. Okay, this is what I wanted to do. Okay, we are going to the farm. There we go. Why is it still on this destination? Eh, whatever. Yeah, I remember playing the original. It took me forever to figure out what to do because, uh... It just puts you in this open grasslands and you didn't know where to go. Oh, what's this? Okay, it's transmission materials. We won't read all that. Oh, I thought that was a little thing down here we can walk. Okay, we're going this way. Looks like we've got some enemies ahead. Nice little spot to uh, level up. I actually have to take the stairs. What the hell? Well, I guess we can beat up some enemies on our way there. I thought I had that assist. Oh, I fuck it. Just screw him up. Oh. Poor old, just mind his own business, I just jumped out on him. Oh. Mess him up. Woo! Okay. Let's head to our destination. Do -do -do. I'm pretty sure I'm going the wrong way. Can I jump down? Nope. Can I jump down? Yes, I can. Okay, let's get this right here. Looks like there's some more on the other side. Let's get those. Area of interest discovered. Oh, cash locations. You may find useful supplies hidden among... Abandoned facilities and settlements. Open all the chests and the location to mark it on your map is complete. Okay. Then I see some more. Okay, there they are. And there's some back here. What's up? I wanted to know what this little green thing was. Okay, there's obviously a cache around here somewhere, so let's... Looks like there's one right here. A chest. Let's open it. Got a high potion. That was a complete waste of my fucking time. Here's another chest. Let's take this bad boy open. Got a mist potion. Okay. 
Thresher water wheel complete. All right. Okay, how do I get down here? Well, damn, bitch. Sound like she was getting fucked. <laughs> okay, there's got to be a way around. Mm, can I? No, I can't. I guess we're going to have to go around this. Doesn't look like... Did I take the river down there? I can try. Probably won't let me. Nope. Okay, we gotta find a way down there. Maybe the map will tell me. Okay, maybe the other side of the uh the tower. Let's see what this is. Oh, it's like just stuff up here. Good thing I came this way. That's a phoenix down. Hmm, grenade. Is this everything in here? Oh, I forgot I can do that. Did I climb jump anything else? Can I go up higher? It's not letting me. Hold up, let's try something. Okay, now. Okay, no fun. Let's go down here. Will it let me? Okay, there we go. Looks like there's another ruins over here. Okay. Not seeing any collectibles. I'm scanning. Let's go to the other side. Dude, I'm not seeing anything. Screw it. Let's just get to our destination. We're not too far away from our destination. Oh, let me get these. I see another enemy up there, but I'm gonna leave him be. Oh, I saw some up here. Okay. Let's go to this little rock climbing thingy. Okay. Let's go. Come on, keep going. Are y'all climbing up or what? Okay, there they are. Let's get some more of these, uh... Let's get these. Oh, I'm pretty sure these belong to somebody. Oh, I got some cows, okay. Got a truck. Wish we could steal it. <laughs> I wanna try something. <laughs> I just wanted to see if I can do that. Okay, let's get these and stuff right here. Okay, I assume this is our destination. Oliver's farm. Can I talk to them? Oh, what's this? Okay, I guess I chat with him, but uh, let me... Okay. Chakra. Do I want that? Steel? I'll take one of those. Then I'll take a chakra. Okay, I forgot what this one was. Okay, folios. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I ain't got enough. Okay. 
remember Red X said something earlier about upgrading him. I mean, uh, Red 18, 13, whatever his name is. Okay, I got him done. I'm pretty sure I can hit R1, R2 to switch between characters at the back and out. Okay, Barrett, yeah, let's, what do we can get him? Electric, oh, enhanced overcharge. Unleash a lightning magic. Okay, we'll get that. Oh, it's not letting me, okay. Can I get that? No. Oh, I guess I gotta get this one first. Okay. Let's sit here and take a rest. Okay, there we go. HP and MP fully restored. Let's go talk to your Luffy from One Piece here. You'd be the avalanche, folks. Duh, okay, who do you I'm think? On your side. Heard you be heading my way. You're safe here, but not for long. By the sound of it, Shinra's leaving no stone unturned. Might want to hold up at the old dock out by the swamp. Old dock? I'd wait your Shimmer's forgotten it's even there. Ugh. Okay. We're going to a dock. Which I assume is, yep, it's this, so... We'll put a pin there, even though it's already going to be marked on the map. The dock is 821 meters that away. Okay. <laughs> Why'd I do that? I know I can't do that. I guess if we encounter some enemies on the way, we can uh, level up a little bit. Holy shit. Hold up. Let's do some materia and equipment. Let's give Tifa the... Uh... What does prayer do? Restore the... Oh, okay. I'm gonna give that the errors though. So let's give Tifa the steel. Cloud, red. Error. I wanted to give her the prey. Where is it? Right here? Where's red 13? I'll give him HP up. Oh, Barrett has it? Okay. Oh, it shows you on the other side who has it. Alright. Uh, we'll give him a chakra. Okay, are these enemies? It looks like it. First strike, okay. Cut, exit that out. Oh shit. Let's try a fire spill since they look like they're made of ice. Alpha donk, okay. There we go. Staggered his ass. Summons, not yet. Let's get this elephant A down and this work on B. Okay, spells, hold up, abilities. Let's give him a triple slash. Woo! That fire spell sure did work, so let's do it again. Sit your ass down. Oh. Staggered his ass. Woo. Okay. Let's go forward. Looks like there's somebody at this truck. Let's check him out. If it ain't my favorite group of hitchhikers. Oh, I don't remember nice seeing you. you here. Thanks again for the right Oh, that's a dude from a uh, part. I uh, mean, uh, I think the beginning of the video. For two such lovely young Not ladies. this one, part one. But I do believe I neglected to introduce myself. The name's Bill, and you can count on me for a lift anytime. Okay. Except today, that is. Pray the old butte's pulled up lame. Sorry about that. No big oh, bummer. We're enjoying the fresh air. Thanks, though. You, uh, know someplace we can hunker down? Hmm. Hunker down, you say? Oh. <laughs> I'd almost forgotten what it was like to be young and in love. Y'all just head straight okay, that's kind of creepy, dude. The swamplands. 
You'll find an abandoned building by the dock. I guarantee no one will bother you there. One thing I like about this game is I like how it uh, has you have a radar and it tells you where to go. This is the original? Whew. I think it took me a year, probably longer to beat that when I was younger. Let's get this shit over here. There's some more to the right. Let's get that. There's another elephant, or there's two more. We'll just pass them for now. We just gotta get to this abandoned dock. I'll take this. Catch location, okay. Shinra's? Looks like it. But definitely an older model. From back when they would do it out with the Republic. A high Hard potion. To imagine this was once a battlefield. And harder still to find land anywhere. Looks like there's no cat. Okay, there it is. Thousand gill. Nice. Money, money, money. I guess this opened up. Yep. Some weird creatures over there. I think I'm gonna leave them alone. I'll take that. Okay, I guess this little green thing is telling me where to go or something. And I'll take these. Well, there's just all sorts of goodies everywhere. Okay, abandoned dock. Here we go. Is that a chest? I believe so. Let's open it and see what's in it. Sleek Saber? I assume that's a cloud weapon? Okay, 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 okay. Okay, that's a Sleek Saber. Okay, it only holds two in my... Oh, the... Sleek Saber holds three. Okay, I'm gonna equip that. Let me, uh... Go to, um... Okay, Materia is what I need. Okay, Cloud has Healing, Fire, Chocobo, and Mogul. Access. Okay, uh, okay, yeah, I forgot that I got my uh, summons from uh, before I uh, started recording. I had to beat that first level. Weapon skill. Yeah, we're keeping that one. Yeah, I do have access. Okay. Okie dokie. Let's see why we came here for. No sign of Shinra. Yeah. Looks like an old Republic landing. Could borrow a boat, make our way across. Then, head on through the mines and keep going till we hit Junon. Junon. Sure. Why not? You trust these rotting hulks? I mean, we could. Let's not. Then maybe... We swim it. You got me. The swamp is home to the deadly Midgard Swarmer. Oh, I remember that from the original like, giant snake but thing. Even if you're slow, you can rent a chocobo. Somebody spitting we'll rhymes. Safely past being nothing if not fast. Okay, you spitting. So just give Phil the word, and he'll pick you out. A bird. <laughs> well. Can we rent some birds? Can we? Y'all can rent some dick. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> I guess we're gonna find a chocobo. Oh, there's a sign right in front of me that says Chocobo Ranch. Oops, wrong button. Okay. Let's put a marker there, even though it's on my radar already. It's just a force of habit. Like, y'all see my Death Stranding videos. <laughs> I'm always checking my map and placing a way marker somewhere. I'll take that. And I'll take that. 
in this. Is that, bro, that fucking rat just scared the shit out of me, bro. Looks like we got some enemies up in here, though. Let's go ahead and take them out. No, 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 we're not carrying them. I was trying to figure out how you do the asset shit. Abilities. Oh, assets is an ability, okay. Let's go to operator mode or punisher mode. Bitch, you get messed up. That fell on them. Oh, there's one more, okay. Alright, let's continue. I'll take this. And let's get those. Is this a rest stop? Resting at chocobo stops. Blah, blah, blah. Use a cushion? Okay. Use a cushion to rest here? Yeah. Always rest up when you're playing a Final Fantasy game. Alrighty, I'm all healed up. Oh, uh, leave them be. No, uh, never mind. You, you came up on me first, old boy. Let's get an ability going. How about Braver? You the one that came up on me. I was trying to let you go. No time to waste. Mm hmm. I was trying to be the nice guy and sneak past y'all. But homeboy just bum rushed me. He ran at me faster than Diddy left in America. <laughs> okay, I'm not paying attention to the map. Oh, get that. Looks like you got some enemies ahead. Some orcs. I mean, I'm not scared to fight them, I'm just trying to get to my destination. Okay, I assume this is the chocobo farm. Oh, how nice. You left me a present. Okie dokie. Well, Let's damn, he got here fast. Again. And welcome to my humble ranch. Managed to get your truck fixed? Indeed I did. You must have been my lucky charms. That was fast as hell. Right after you left. Hmm. Anywho, what can I do you for? You in the market for some fine feathered friends by any chance? Are we ever? Need them to get through the swamp lands. Then you have come to the right place. Back in the day, we had Republic ferries to get us from A to B, but now they're nothing but driftwood, sadly. We got the next best thing, though chocobos. To them, a bottomless bog's no worse than a kiddie pool. Now, ladies. You're probably wondering, what gives these birds the power to glide across swamps with ease? Uh... Would you believe that their fluffy feathers give them the buoyancy to float, while their limber legs can outrun a motorboat? Not even the dreaded Midgard Sormer, one of the fastest fiends around, can keep up with them. Uh, wow. <laughs> but you don't need convincing. You just need pointing to a hard-working chocobo, nature's two-legged limousine. So, can we rent some? Sure can. Nice. My grandson Billy's in the stable over yonder. He'll help you out. All right, let's go talk to Billy. I just gotta try it one time. Oh, it won't let me hit him. What the asshole looked like. Oh, he ain't got one. <laughs> you gotta forgive me, I'm weird. But then again, I am a gamer, so. Howdy! Saw the sign. Need some chocobos to cross the swamp. Now, 
I'm sorry, Pops, but you're out of luck. Pops? Hmm? Got no more birds. Last one went this morning. Really? Could have fooled me, kid. These are spoken for. That or they're not fit for riding. But I can see you're in a bind, so I'll bump you up the list. For a price, of course. How much we talking? Ten grand each. Man, fuck you. Who crack prices? The thing is, we don't have that kind of money. Or any, really. I mean, you can have Terrace and, uh, I mean, uh, Aerith and, uh, Tifa if you want. Well, there <laughs> is one other option. Only cost you a grand. Hmm, why the sudden change of heart? Is what a scoundrel might say. But I wouldn't dream of distressing y'all further. Just so happens one of our birds ran off the other day. Wild thing, but still a fine chocobo. If you can manage to find and catch him, then he's yours. Free of charge. Eh, what's it sound too hard? Catch a bird. Yeah, why not? Name's Pico. The hardest-headed bird you'll ever meet. By far. And he's the spitting image of Pops here. <laughs> you why does this dude obsessed with me? First tracks. Find those, and you're sure to find the feet that made him. Now, wild chocobos can be a bit skittish around people. But if you play it cool and creep up real quiet-like, you'll wrangle them no problem. I think we can do that. Thanks. And one last thing. This info comes free of charge, provided you promise to stop by our shop. Speak to Chloe back there. She'll sell you whatever you need. <laughs> nice. Kids are born businessmen. <laughs> if y'all can catch our runaway and get his butt back here, riding and rearing lessons are on me. Rearing lessons? What the? That sounded hella suspect. <laughs> Okay, looks like we got some items in here. Well, we're just gonna take shit right in front of him. And there's a chest. Timeless rod. That's what I love to give the air. Uh, material and equipment. Air. Guard stick. Timeless rod. She's got Shiva materia. Prayer. Wind. We'll do fire up damage on her. Let's get her some type of healing. Oh, Cloud has it. Do I have any more healing? Shit. Well, I guess that's it for now. Okay. What the fuck just happened? I was just standing over here. Okay, let's talk to her. All he thinks about is money. He's just doing his job. We understand. I suppose, but he's been a real pain about it ever since our parents left. Yeah, they just do. Say, are you guys from Midgar? Yeah, the Undercity. Then do you happen to know Chocobo Sam? Um, not very well, but yeah, I guess we do. Oh, I just cracked my back. Ooh. Probably the Sector 6 slums. He's a big deal in Walt. Um, why do you ask? I was thinking about reaching out. It's his fault mom and dad are gone, so... Hmm. Chloe, that's none of these good folks' business. But they could help! Don't tell anyone what she told you. Sam's one of the biggest names in the business. If he gets wind of that story, our ranch is done for. Don't worry, your secret's safe with us. I promise. Take these greens. You can give them to Pico when you find him. They were always his favorite treat, you see. Got some Maybe greens. He'll come back once he's had a taste. Right. Should probably sell you stuff, huh? Billy will throw a fit if I don't at least try to get you to spend a few gil. No pressure, but if anything catches your eye. Also, if you have any golden plumes on you, I can exchange them for chocobo gear. So be sure mm. to hand them over if you do. Chocobo gear, okay. Uh, let's see what they got. Nah, how about selling? I don't think I'm selling shit. Iron ore. They could be made into iron. Look, I'm not getting rid of my, none of my stuff. Not enough golden plumes. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I hope Pico doesn't give you all too much trouble. New discovery made. Oops.
Are you kidding me? We gotta go way the fuck over there. What's this? Oliver's farm. Abandoned dock. We gotta find out where this chocobo is. I'm not seeing them on the map. I guess I gotta talk to somebody. Tracing the tracks. You mean Pico? Let's I guess I gotta look for some footprints. Uh, I'm not seeing any here. I'm gonna go up here real quick. Uh, I thought it was probably a chest or something up here. Nope. Okay, we're looking for giant chicken tracks. I'll take that. Hold up. What's this over here? Must be on the other side of that wall. Oh, that's the uh, vendor. Okay, okay. I don't see any chicken tracks anywhere. Maybe I have to go out. Okay, something says follow the chocobo track, so... Okay, okay, I think I see him. Yep, right here. Did you turn left or right? Okay, I see a footprint here. Let's go a little bit faster. Yoink! Yeah, there's feathers and shit everywhere. Bingo. Okay, there we go. Yeah. Y'all, let's go bag us a chocobo. Keep it down. When you're on the hunt, you don't want to startle your prey. Prey? You know we're not here to kill him, right? Yeah. That would be some good eating. Okay, approach Pico without getting noticed. If you're in danger of being spotted by him or one of his pack mates, quickly press O to roll out of sight. You can also distract chocobos by throwing stones you pick up. Use L1 to aim and square to throw. Okay. Okay, some more stealth action. Uh. Okay, I guess Pico's the one in the back, even though it says his name right there. So I gotta get past these two. Oh! Bro, how, how are you still seeing me? Okay. Guess I got a Metal Gear Solid this shit. Don't turn around, don't turn around. Approach the target not being spotted. I hit a button if I do. Okay, I'm not getting any closer. Okay, almost there. At a checkpoint, nice. Proceed when the back is turned, okay. Whoa! Okay, I should be good. Oh, oh, that scared the shit out of me. Imagine if those things were real. Well, I mean, they're basically ostriches. But imagine you had a chicken that big. Oh, 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 shit. That didn't work out. Good thing I got the checkpoint. Retry. Bro, I just hit triangle to retry. Oh, I guess I gotta hold it. Retry from checkpoint, okay. I just gotta keep my eye, okay. I gotta keep my eye on that one. 
Okay. Shit. We picked up a rock. Too bad it ran away. Okay, I think I know what to do now. We try from checkpoint. Let's try this again. Okay, okay, okay. I guess I ain't got to throw the rock. Uh, oh, there's one right here. That was one big ass rock. Ooh, that was loud. Got your ass, bitch. Well, that wasn't too bad. Oh, I got some golden plumes. Okay. I guess I can catch chocobos and farm uh, golden plumes if I want some of that weird, uh, gear. Well, that thing bit her fucking head off. Okay, got some fire music playing. You know, they are kind of similar. Totally. <laughs> what does he want now? Do you think maybe he's still hungry? Sorry, that's all the. I'm sorry. I'm just vibing to the beat. But you know where there's more. Place. <laughs> Back to the ranch it is then. Come on. Back to the ranch we go. Guess there's no need to can I ride you? That's not so suspect. I gotta say no diddy. <laughs> okay. I guess I won't be needing the way marker. I jump over this fence or I gotta walk all the way around. Yep, gotta walk all the way around. I'm sorry, I'm, I, this beat's low key hard. Alright, let's talk to this dude. Is a feather out of place. Mm -hmm. Got one healthy bird here. Enough to ride? Sure. Though I wouldn't try till he's done eating. Once he's out of spill, though, I'm sure he'll come around to the idea if we ask him nice. Ain't that right? I'll need to prep his gear and all that. So why don't you wait outside? Let me see us up with these golden plumes. Hold up. I really can't thank you enough for bringing Pico back to us. Oops, wrong button. Okay, okay. I'm gonna go with the helmet. If you ever want to change your chocobo, oh, my man Jack, my 2000 came on. Just over there. Let's uh, material and equipment cloud. Little bracelet. Our wrist guards. I wonder how I put on that helmet I just got. Do do do. Did I put it on Barrett? No. Wait, did she just tell me I can use something? Well, I'll take this. Moogle metal, okay. Did 
Bill's Ranch. Okay, there's a wrist, the wrist butt. Pack shop. She just said I can use some. Let's see what she was How talking about. Okay, I bought the helmet. Oh, it's for Chocobo. Okay, I thought I can wear it. Welcome back here anytime. I feel like a freaking idiot. Oh, this weird hey dude. There. What a pleasant surprise. You do remember me, don't you? Yeah. I knew you would. It was an absolute pleasure working with you in Midgar. Thank you again. Your invaluable intel allowed me to create so much materia. Detecting internal monologue. The hell's this weirdo doing here? <laughs> you can read my thoughts or something? I was created by Professor Hojo, you know. Though your thoughts could be read by any cyborg. But to answer your question, I took a page out of your book and skipped town. Now, the whole world's my laboratory. Speaking of which, I have a favor to ask, if it's not too much trouble. You need more battle intel. Oh, I hated That's doing that shit. I know. Always eager to get on with it. But yes, though, I'd like you to activate some Remna Wave Towers first. The hell was that? They were originally constructed by the Republic of Junon, but were claimed by Shinra after the war. Since which time they've sat idle and untouched. Just waiting for someone to put them to good use. The more towers you activate around the world, the more my processing power will grow. As will the area I can survey. I might even be able to construct a communications network independent of Shinra. How does that sound? You'd not only be helping me, but yourselves as well. Hmm. If we find any, we'll turn them on. Wonderful. I thought you might say something like that. Let's get started then. See that tower? That's your first target. Oh, right there. And this will activate it. Let the Chad module. As the towers close by, allow me to accompany you. Okay, bringing the world to life. This game just seems more fun now that it's been uh, remade. Still technically in disc one if we're uh, going off the uh, original. Okay, uh, bringing the world to life, I guess whole triangle. Hmm. Let's see what this thing does. Cool. Tower activation confirmed. Initiating preliminary scan of the grasslands. Mm -hmm. I'll ascertain the locations of fiends and natural resources. Nice. This actually might come in handy. Hmm. After careful consideration, I have devised a new name for this type of research. I call it World Intel. World Intel, you say? Chadley will employ the data you collect to develop new materia, create new combat simulations, and embark on other scientific endeavors. Activate the Renewave Towers you encounter and help Chadley deepen your understanding of this world. Okay. I hope you'll assist me in gathering relevant data by completing various tasks on your travels. In return, I will use the information you provide to develop new materia. Quid pro quo. To summarize, I want us to become research partners. But before that, is there anything you would like to ask? Oh uh, yeah, developing materia. With each piece of world intel you collect, you will also provide me with the data I need to develop new materia. What I ultimately produce, however, is for you to decide. I look forward to finding out what we can create together. Do you happen to have any questions about world intel and the like? Uh, Remnant Wave Towers. 
These communications towers were built by the Republic of Junon in order to further their understanding of the planet. They scan for all manner of signals, which in turn reveal myriad locations of interest, such as long forgotten ruins and rare natural phenomena. Okay. Should you happen to stumble across a tower, please activate it. I must urge you to proceed with caution though. Feral beasts often claim these installations as their territory. Do you happen to have any questions about world intel and the like? Let's try the combat simulator, even though I know what it is. With a special pair of goggles, you can do battle in a virtual arena, regardless of your real-world location. That's the combat simulator. Or my combat simulator, as Shinra developed the stationary models first. And fret not, it will never be obsolete. I'll keep it up to date with intel from unique enemy encounters. I will also endeavor to implement all of the summons once I finish analyzing the myths and legends surrounding them, of course. In fact, after pouring over stories from the Grasslands, I have finished implementing a new one, the tower and Colossus known as Titan. Hmm. Engage him at your leisure. Do you happen to have any questions about world intel and the like? I think that's a summon Titan. I remember him from the original game, so that, that I might Which do. Which particular task would you like to learn about? Uh, let's try this. Life spring surveys. Simply put, life springs are formed when the life stream breaches the planet's surface. To Shinra, the volume of Mako that can be extracted from these springs is insignificant, certainly not worth the expense. But to us, they are a veritable font of knowledge. In order to tap these precious reserves, however, you will first need to find them. If you still have questions about world intel, please ask away. Uh, combat assignments. While it is normal for creatures to adapt to their environment, sometimes these adaptations make them a threat. I would like you to track down and eliminate these creatures and amass data on them in the process. If you still have questions about world intel, please ask away. Uh, crystal analysis? In certain remote areas, fragments of planetary wisdom have coalesced into crystalline forms. Though the knowledge contained within them is vast and varied, one subject is of particular interest to me that of summons. If you would analyze the crystals in my stead, thus extracting said knowledge from them, I can use it to enhance our materia. If you still have questions about world intel, please ask away. Uh, what was that last one? How do you pronounce that salvaging? Ah, yes. I was hoping you would ask. I detected some strange energy signals earlier. My current theory is that they emanate from the remnants of ancient artifacts. But until we investigate, there's simply no telling what the sources might be. And since we have yet to identify them, I have taken the liberty of naming these objects Proto-Relics. <laughs> a rather endearing name, if I may say so. At any rate, I would be grateful if you could investigate said curiosities and ultimately recover them for study. If you still have questions about world intel, please ask away. Uh, none? Do you happen to have any questions about world intel and the like? Nothing. I think that covers In everything. That case, I see no reason not to begin at once. With your activation of this tower, my analysis of the grasslands has already yielded some data. Though hardly substantial, it is enough for me to create materia. Which of these would you like? Fire and ice, auto cast, morph, auto unique. What's that? Yeah, I'm gonna get that auto unique ability. Spend 10 data points. Yep. I wish work. you all the best in the long journey that lies ahead of you. And remember, you're not in this alone. Should you require assistance, just ask. Assisting the feeding new fiends will provide Chadley with the data he needs to update the simulator with combat challenges. Complete these challenges to earn a variety of rewards such as powerful summoning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Speak with Chadley to access the simulator. Okay. Combat simulator. A new summon entity is available? Oh, hell yeah. Hold up. I think I got the wrong one. No, I need materia. I'm gonna give it to Aerith. That one we just got. Auto unique ability. That's it. Okay, wow. let's talk to him. I have recreated Titan, 
the mythical Colossus of the Grasslands in virtual space. I encourage you to pit your skills against this summoned entity so that I might complete its materia. What can I develop? Oh, I'm gonna use a combat simulator. Uh oh. Okay, I just got my ass beat, so I'm about to come back to this later. Uh, what are we doing? Okay. Let's head on back in and see if the chocobo is ready. Hey, perfect timing. Pico's all prepped. Yeah, that Titan was fucking me up. <laughs> just give that whistle a toot and your chocobo will come a running. Got a chocobo whistle? Press R1 to use your chocobo whistle. Okay. That'll so, work. who here's never been on chocoback? I haven't. Why don't we take a few laps to get you comfortable then? Come with me. Alrighty, let's go with him. Yeah, I must not be powerful enough for some, because I was even doing damage to that Titan. I'll look it up later. Let's just get through this level. Throw it up. Oh, I'll have to come back and get those later. Here's where we get our birds in shape for the races. Oh, Chocobo race is nice. The gold saucers, I mean. They're a big deal in our community. Won't find a ranch around here that doesn't compete. So you guys race too? We've been sitting it out since mom and dad left. But we're gonna get back in the fight soon and kick the tar out of one particularly nasty weasel. But never you mind all that. You just focus on the basics, like making sure you don't get thrown from the saddle. Why I'll don't try. try hopping on Pico and giving me a holler? Press R1, okay. 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 R2. This way. R2 and L3 is the dash. I'm here. What do you want? Okay. But how's about we stretch his legs a bit? Okay, I guess we can do this real quick. Participate and hustle the chocobo, yeah. Okay, go, 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 go! Okay, it's like a little race or something. I got two out of eight, okay. My target time is 40 seconds. I'm pretty sure I just lost five seconds running into a pole. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna make it. There we go. I'm about to redo this race. that you got the base we can't thank you enough billy <laughs> oh that reminds me y'all mentioned your flat broke right then you might want to swing by calm again now that the troopers have cleared out it's probably safe for you to ask around for work i ain't going back there oh don't run off just yet my sister's looking for help not sure what the trouble is didn't want to confide in me for whatever reason honestly she hasn't been herself since mom left they did dang near everything together you want to lend Chloe a hand? We need to move on. True, but moving on costs money. Hmm. We had fun helping people in Sector 5, right? Same deal. People in the world are... People in the world over are willing to pay Top Gill for Cloud's hand for higher services. Track these odd jobs, open the map with home and select quests. Certain settlements will have a notice board upon which citizens in need will post job offers. Accepting a job will mark your new employer on your map. 
Tackle the odd jobs less to here to earn rare rewards, deepen your bonds with your allies, and increase your party level. Okay. You can warp to any unlocked waypoint such as towns, repair chocobo stops, and activated runway towers. Okay. Fast travel. You Let's see what practice? he wants. Okay, let me see the prizes. Yeah, I, I really don't care. No. Nah. Okay, let's go back in here and get what I saw. Okay, we check my map. We've got close request. Chadley. Okay, let's see what Chloe wants real fast. What's this? Oh! Customize my chocobo, okay. some help you did oh i see billy talked to you didn't he yeah i've been meaning to go pick flowers but we want to pick fucking flowers too dangerous for that i'm sorry to hear that as a flower lover myself i sympathize well the thing is i want to make a flower crown mom used to make them for us all the time so i wanted to give it a try but with all the monsters i didn't know how i could Here's an idea. Maybe we could do the picking for you? Wow. Sure. Cloud? Thoughts? Yeah, let's ask some questions. What happened to your parents? Truth is, our parents died in an accident when I was really little. Billy doesn't like to talk about it. Sorry. We used to go on these family picnics. And after we were done eating, Mom would make flower crowns for me and Billy. I'd wear mine for dates. Uh, how do you know Sam? I shouldn't tell you this, but he's the reason mom and dad died. That's what Billy says. I don't know. He always changes the subject when I ask. We'll take the job. Really? You will? The flowers grow on a hill that's got a great view of Midgar. It's kind of far, but a chocobo will get you there quick. Thank you so much. Hi, how can I help you today? We hope to serve you. Uh, quests. Flowers from the hill. Wildflower plateau. Okay. Where am I located? Here. And this quest is way the fuck over there. Oh, maybe I can knock it out real quick. I will be using my chocobo. Where you at? Wait, I can talk to him? That was nice we all got chocobos. Talk to him, talk to him. Let me guess. Y'all are fixing to finally cross the swamplands, right? Not yet. That's the plan. While I was making a routine inspection of my signage, a group of fellas shambled on by, heading toward the bog. Looked like a funeral procession, what with their black robes. Black robes? Yes, indeed. 
told them they'd need some chocobos for safe passage, but I ain't even sure they heard me. I expect that doesn't sound good. Storm will make a meal out of those boys. But if you do catch up to them first, try to convince them to swing by the ranch. Okay, we're heading this way. Area treasures nearby? Okay. Oh, keep that in mind when I'm looking for some treasure. No, we're not fighting. Nope. Easy. Son of a bitch. Okay, let's just fuck him up and get over with. Mm. Take that, motherfucker. That's that. Let's get a spell going. Fire. Bitch. Reminds me of the Legend of Zelda with that damn owl. I think it was Arcarina of Time. Uh, this don't look like a good area. Can't use abilities yet. Levercon, okay. Let's give him a focus thrust. That did it next to nothing. Come on. There we go. Give him braver. I need to find a way up there. There we go. Come on. Almost there. Whoa, what do we have here? Look at that. You've stumbled upon a life spring. Why don't you try scanning it? See what you uncover. Accessing the planet's figurative database should help us learn about the area. Surveying Life Springs grants the wisdom of the live stream, revealing new points of interest. Following a Spring Seeker hour will lead you to a Life Spring. It's natural habitat, okay. Let's do this. Oh, there we go. There we go. Okay. Got some expedition world intel done. Got a new region, okay. What's this now? Confirmed. Data received. Life springs such as this can be discovered in every region. Their potential energy output is far too minuscule for Shinra to exploit. But to us, they're fonts of intel. I encourage you to seek out more of these life springs. Will do. I gotta find a way to that, uh... Where was I hitting that uh place to get the flowers? Can I jump any faster? Uh 
Ugh, come on. So I gotta find a way around this. Let's see if we can find a way. Okay. Looks like I gotta cross some swamp. Hold up, where am I going? Okay, it's like I gotta go to the, hold up. Abandoned dock, okay. Let me check the quest. Let check, okay. Story, there we go. Cross the swamp on the chocobo. Okay, so we're basically at the swamp now. So let me check the map. The fuck is this? Through the swamp lands, okay. So basically I am cut through the same swamp, I'm just going to the right, I believe. Okay. So we sure this is safe. Yeah, are we? Bill assured us the chocobos the candle. Have some but I keep doing that. Friends. Okay, let's just get this over with. Okay, Carson in the swamp wasn't too bad. I just gotta find a way though. Get area of interest discovered. Alert! Alert! Dangerous being detected in your vicinity. Please ensure you are prepared before engaging. <laughs> My sensors are picking up some understandable confusion. It's a pleasure to meet you, Cloud. I am your personal monster assessment instrument. But since that's a mouthful, you can call me Mai. Chadley programmed me to assist you by providing detailed analyses of the fiends you encounter. I hope I can be of service to you in the many battles ahead. With that out of the way, I'm picking up unusual fiend activity nearby. To procure the biological data that we require, you'll need to complete specific objectives during combat. But don't worry, because I'll be here to help you succeed. Okay. Good luck! The fiend that Chadley wishes to analyze can be found in various locations throughout the world. Defeating these unique beasts and fulfilling certain battle objectives will unlock new trials in the combat simulator. You cannot flee from these battles. Roam this place. Rare move variant identified. Commencing guidance protocol. Pressure bow, fire, and ice. Possesses an incredible memory, meaning that once you trespass on territory, it can and will track you down. Okay. Bam! Hey, um. Spells. You said fire and ice. Okay, who has ice? I don't think I got anybody equipped with ice. Yeah. I don't think I'm screwed here. Or yet. I do get a grenade. Maybe that'll work. Stagger enemy. There we go. We got one. Come on. 
I don't think I got that first uh, objective. Let's get an ability going. How about focus? No, no, no. Triple slash. Where'd you go? Shit. I need to heal up. Okay, let's mess him up. Abilities. I need to cure myself of anything. Uh, spells. Damn. Damn. Well, let's try and fuck him up. Let's get the limit going, cross slash. Okay, I didn't pressure vote fire, nice. Era. I need her to do that prey thingy. Well, let's just heal Cloud. Who else needs some healing? Let's try and avoid them from now. I'm trying to figure out how the hell do we get here? I'm about ready to say fuck that quest. Yeah, we'll just come back to it offline or something. Oh, uh, I'm gonna head here instead. There we go. Yeah, that's a good idea. I'll just play offline, though. I want to figure out how to beat that Titan. Because I want that summon material. Come on. There we go. Let me make sure I'm going the right way. Okay, yeah, so we're gonna go up. And then right a little bit. Do we get that uh, giant snake thing out here somewhere, so I'm expecting the boss fight. Okay, I'm going the right way. I wonder what that is. Let's go investigate, shall we? Hey, Cloud. Do you notice any sparkling minerals nearby? Yeah, I'm staring right at it. These are known as guide stones. Crystals that direct travelers to shrines to the divine. The stones emit light when they shatter, producing an illuminated path. If ever you're lost, Try smashing one. Following the light should lead you to a sanctuary set to honor the tutelary deity of a given region. The shrines contain untold divine knowledge, slumbering within massive crystals. I can use this knowledge to strengthen your summoning materia, so I encourage you to seek out said sanctuaries. Titan sanctuaries in the age of myths when Titan rose from 
So I guess it has something to do with Titan Materia? Subterranean prison. He created a massive earthquake. Thus did a vast There's another one over there I just saw, but the sea, let's just get on with the level. There's a chest. Uh oh. There. There's Sephiroth. It's Sephiroth. <gasps> what? Come on. Somehow he made it over. High caliber rifle, nice. Okay, there's a person here. You? No, I don't. This is a person. Well, they're not bothering me, so it makes them head the right way. It's only a matter of time until that giant fucking snake just jumps out of my ass. out of here I guess is that dry land I see let's go maybe I can get to that flower place from uh here I just had to go around oh I kind of saw this coming uh-oh what the yeah Oh, we are so fucked. Uh oh, uh oh, that is a big motherfucker. It disguised itself as an island. Smart. Focus. Okay, I'm gonna need to stop doing that. Need Aerif? Shit. Need to charge her up a little bit. This one's for you. Let's get a spell going, Blizzard. Take that. Let's get Braver going. Come on. Bitch, take that. I think this might be Bitch, I'm gonna fuck you up. I need. Miss Potion. There we go. Take that. Getting fucked up. Giant overgrown snake. Come on, there. Need you to charge up. There we go. Woo! He like he mad. Get back. Yeah, he is. Was it always this cold? Not good. Let's do this uh, synergy real quick. Stop that. Got his ass. I'm gonna need a cure on Cloud. Bitch. Stop that. Where's Barry? What abilities you have? Let's try focus shot. Get that blizzard. Come on, bitch. 
Keep your guard up. Damn, I kind of need a cloud. It's hard this thing popping up on me. Gonna get him out of there. What does Bear have? Abilities? Let's do a maximum. Hold up. Focus shot. Let's do maximum fury. I'll show you what I can do. Feeling chilly? Take that, bitch. Cloud's got the limit. Cross slash. I gotta use air if they uh heal cloud. Or give an item. Potion to cloud. I need to cure myself, spells. Okay, with abilities, I'm not gonna use. Let's try a focus shot. I'll take care of them. Damn. That was clean. I don't have a synergy. What about a bear? Nope. Let's get that phoenix down. We still got a job to do. You got to. We've got to get through this. Let's fuck him up. Let's get a triple slash. There we go. Ooh, he mad. Let's get abilities. Focus shot. Let's get a spell. Blizzard. I need to heal myself. Damn, I'm out of cure, so uh, items, ether. The switch. I don't have any synergy. Cloud. I do the summon. There we go. Come on! We need you. Okay, stop hopping up. Oh, I got a trophy. I need Cloud to heal. Oh. I gotta do summon abilities, icicle impact. Take this motherfucker down. Damn. Some of the abilities. Heavenly strike. There we go. Let's get an item. I need a potion on Aerith. Okay. Wish I was in a tree in my way. Uh oh. What is this? This must be his final form. Let's take him out. Fuck out of here. Summon abilities, icicle impact. There we go. Come on, let's fuck him up. Take that. Let's do another summon ability. Heavenly Strike. There we go. There we go. Woo! I got, I got my ass whooped like 10 times. I had to Google how to uh, take him out. <laughs> but yeah, we did it. Whoa! Oh, shit!
My boy Cloud is dead. Well, not really. Looks like it. this Sephiroth test two baby <laughs> Wakey. You remember who I am? Eris. Oh, it's good to have you back, Cloud. Sephiroth? I knew he was strong, but still. Yeah, so still doesn't Those explain the rule, people. Too. They've gotta be. Yeah, I kinda get that feeling as well. Let's not lose her. I could go back and do some side quests, but screw that. Let's continue on with the game. Is that a chest? Sorry, I thought I was seeing something. Never know when there's goodies around. Okay, I don't see any, so let's go in here. Okay, we're in a new chapter. That's easy for you to say. You fought the worst for a living. Not us, though. Yeah, good point. You mind taking the lead, Merc? For 2,000. <laughs> <laughs> Enough for her standard course. Twice, right? Her what now? Ask him. Cloud? Uh, uh, forget it. You guys need to focus. Alrighty, it's the trigger tree here. I'm gonna go ahead and end the video. Thanks for watching. Uh I guess I'll go back offline and do some side quests. But uh for the video purposes, I wanna uh focus on main stories. Uh if you enjoyed the view, please thumbs up, comment, share, subscribe, and uh I'll be seeing you in the future on some more epic gaming videos. Peace. Yeah.